Hey everybody, Whitney Anna Jones here, and today I have a jam-packed video for you. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish out the adventure room portion of the Indiana Jones room, which means that we're gonna jump on over to Petra Jordan and I'm gonna build out the treasury building that we see in the last crusade. Then I'm gonna finish out his 1930s home office. I wanna create a secret passageway so big video today, so let's get started. Hey everybody, so of course it's been about a hot minute since I did a full length video. So I wanna first of all just say thank you so much to any new subscribers, I wanna welcome you to my channel. I would also like to go ahead and update you as to what I'm doing here and then also do a quick recap of the Indiana Jones Adventure Room and let you know what I've recently done and then we'll get started on the new stuff. So if you are new or you need to be refreshed, this is the 15 room dollhouse that I acquired through an estate sale. I have been renovating this dollhouse and I've been doing each room in one of my favorite movie themes. So I've done a Wizard of Oz baby room, a vampire, what we do in the shadows dining room, and now I'm going to move all the way up to the attic and do an Indiana Jones adventure room and office. I've removed the top part of the dollhouse and put it on the floor just to make it a little bit easier for me to work with. Basically to recap what I did because the room is so large I decided to divide it into two spaces so I built this room here out of a project board that I found at the dollar store for 99 cents and I made this little room that just slides right into the existing space leaving room in the front for the Indiana Jones 1936 office the idea is that when you look in the dollhouse through one window you'll see the office and then when you look in through the side window you'll be able to see the adventure room now the the adventure room is going to consist of the Indiana Jones main three movies, which is the Lost Ark, the Temple of Doom, and then the Last Crusade, which will be toward the back. The main component materials that I've been using throughout this entire project consist of the joint compound, some DOS clay, a lot of foam board as my base, and then a couple other smaller or different types of materials like polymer clay, some greenery type materials and that sort of thing and then of course accessories okay and then this is how the first part of the adventure room turned out i really highlighted really the opening scene in indiana jones and the lost ark where he locates the fertility god i did add a few snakes to the diorama because obviously snakes are a big part of the not only the first movie but also one of indiana jones's biggest fears so i did add a couple of those Okay, and then just to quickly recap the Temple of Doom portion of the adventure room. Basically, I built this portion of the diorama centered around the Temple of Doom, the actual altar of the Temple of Doom. And so I did build that from a foam core base. I did a joint compound overlay, and then I built also some side towers and then sculpted out the sacrificial skull in a DOS clay, painted everything, and at this point I did do um, some faux lava and then added the lighting around that just to give it a nice glow. So for the third movie, I am going to attempt my most ambitious build ever, which is to replicate the treasury building from Petra Jordan that we see in the movie. If you haven't seen the movie, basically just know that within this building is the final resting place of the Holy Grail. And so I really wanted this to be the building that represents the third movie. I used this piece of paper here. I printed this out and this is actually going to be my guide and I printed it to the scale that I want because I'm just gonna go slightly smaller so that the building itself looks further back I just started again by using my joint compound as the base this building is carved out of sandstone and so using the joint compound of course is going to give me that perfect look of sand I'm just going to go ahead and put it on in a, in a nice even layer again not using too much as I've mentioned before in other videos the joint compound does have quite a bit of moisture in it it. and because my base is a cardboard base I don't really want there to be a lot of bowing so I'm just gonna do a nice thin layer and then I'm gonna use my foam board and I'm gonna cut some of that out to create a border around my around my treasury building
and it's gonna look like that. I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry and then you can see the photo here again and you can see how the vision for it is that it, the building just sets right into the center of that. So to create the actual skeleton of my building, I'm going back to my foam board here and I'm gonna cut down pieces to create this look here, which is kind of what I'm calling the skeleton of my building. And the size should fit right on top of my paper template here. And then what I did was I bought these pillars from a company called Unique Miniatures that does kind of these plaster pieces and they come in all different sorts of sizes. So I bought enough to replicate my building here. Other materials that I'm gonna use here is some dentil molding here in wood and a plaster trim. And then also this is just like a paper trim that I'll be using too sporadically just to kind of give the look that I want. And then of course I will be using some DOS clay as my main medium to create the look of a carved sandstone building. So I'm just rolling out my clay and I'm adhering it to my foam core skeleton and I am using some tacky glue as a additional support and holding it in place. And then after I've cut everything down, glued everything in place, this is what it looks like. I would say it took me about an hour to create this. I used so much clay. When you add glue, the glue has to absorb as well. And then adding more glue on top of the clay to keep these plaster pieces in place and also the wood. It took a full three days to completely dry thoroughly. And then I glued it in place to the back and you can see what it's, it's really beginning to take shape. Already, I'm super thrilled with it at this point, but of course I really need to make sure that it looks like sand or that it was carved out of sand. And so that will require a couple coats of paint. And I've chosen this ceram coat color here called terracotta. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a really good thorough coat of that. And then you can see how it's already just pretty much popping right off the screen there. And then I used a golden brown color on top of that once it was fully dry to just give it more of a sandstone look. And I did paint a black opening to the center there so that it looked like there was an opening. Once I added the lighting, this is the outcome and we'll see more of it at the end of the video. Okay, and so now the adventure room portion of the office is completed. And now we can actually get to the 12th scale Indiana Jones 1936 office. His office can, is actually a decent sized room, but it does have this nice centered fireplace and then it's anchored by two bookshelves. And so what I would like to do is create a secret passageway behind the fireplace for Indiana Jones to enter in and actually be able to get into this adventure room. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just create an opening that is the same size as the fire pit area of the fireplace. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut that area out. And then what I've done is I have created a faux back wall. This will be where the fireplace and also the two bookcases will be anchored to. And then you can see here, this is the fireplace and chimney area. This will actually be the interior part of the fireplace. And then I'm gonna add a couple more foam core pieces to the side of that fireplace area. This is also going to give me a spot to hide the battery operated light source as well that this twinkle light string is attached to. Then I'm going to add a couple side pieces, a top portion to the fireplace wall unit, and then I will add all the bookcase shelves in as well. And then on the interior portion of the fireplace, I'm adding this brick paper, some of my fake grass and weeds and things like that. And then Mindy sent me some amazing spiders and I am going to add those to the space to and that black that you see there that's all spiders because I absolutely have to have bugs at the opening of a secret entrance I mean it's just it's very Indiana Jones to do that so you can see that the shelves and everything have been placed as well and then this is going to be the actual fireplace facade I'm going to add two hinges on the one side so that this opens to reveal the secret passageway you can also see in the movie that his mantle and the frame of the fireplace is gold so I'm going to go ahead and take my tester paint 
paint and do a black coat and then a gold border around that fireplace. I've added an additional brick background so you can't see the actual entryway to the secret passage. Now that that's all built, I can insert the entire adventure room back into the dollhouse and then honestly, it is time to decorate. Now I do want to take a moment here to kind of talk about this Indiana Jones diary. This was a gift from one of my very close friends, Stephanie, who gave me this miniature Indiana Jones diary from The Last Crusade. It has all of the specialty papers, the actual diagrams from the inti inside of the journal, and it is just such a treasure. I love this so much, and so I'm going to go ahead and make sure that this treasure gets sat right on top of this coffee table. Okay, and that's pretty much the decorated finished Indiana Jones room. And I want to introduce you to somebody special, and that is my Indiana Jones action figure. So Hasbro makes these six inch dolls, and they are the perfect scale for a 12 scale dollhouse. And normally, as dollhouse people, we typically don't interact with the action figure world, not often anyway. But I say, forget what we typically do. If it's the right scale and the right doll, put it in your house and enjoy every second of it and this is the indiana jones temple of doom obi-wan club doll and i absolutely just love him he comes with a ton of accessories and so i'm going to just place him in the office where he belongs and he just looks so handsome sitting in here and i may actually go back and do a little matte finish on him and maybe even do a little highlighting on his face but i think he looks pretty dang good in here he certainly is in the right spot and then what i really love is now i can can show you how the secret passage works. I'm just going to open up this fireplace and then reveal the secret passageway. And of course, we need to have Indiana Jones going through that and into the adventure room. <laughs> yes, I always say it about every room I do, but I feel like this might be my favorite one. <laughs> one of the things I love about it is I haven't ever done like a real true diorama before. And so the adventure room really allowed me to step out of my comfort zone and build it. And so you can see here, as I had hoped in the original vision, was that through one window, you go in and you get to enjoy the room. Here's the office in all its fortune and glory. And then when we move to the side window, you can see the full adventure room from Raiders to the Temple of Doom to the Last Crusade in the back. Okay, everybody, so that pretty much wraps up the Indiana Jones office and adventure room. I personally had a blast creating this space. It's one of my favorite, like I said. I hope that you enjoyed the journey too. I hope that you love the outcome. Let me know in the comments below. Of course, I always love to hear from you. If you haven't subscribed, do so. I have a lot of other fun stuff coming up. Enjoy the photo montage, but also know that I'll be posting these photos onto my Instagram and my Facebook page. So if you want to go there and take a deep deep dive on the accessories, especially in the office, uh, you can do that there. So for the next couple months, I have a lot of really fun stuff coming up. I have an entire carnival themed video coming up, you guys, with all things carnival, but one of the main builds that I wanna do is the Zoltar machine from Big. And so I'll be doing that, so look for that. Also, I have another video coming up that, hint, hint, will be out of this world. Those two videos will not have anything to do with the 15 room dollhouse renovation, but coming up in October, I do have a very special video. And here is a tiny little hint. They're here. So if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to do that so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great week. And remember in this crazy world, it's the little things that matter. Bye.